thanks for watching my video today. Um, obviously, this guitar solo needs no introduction. It's it's one of the most famous guitar solos of all time. In fact, it was named the uh, the greatest solo of all time by Guitar World, Ultimate Guitar, Classic Rock Magazine, and and uh, several others. In fact, every single list I've ever seen it in, it, it's always in the top five uh, greatest guitar solos of all time. So, um, on this solo. Um, I've broke it down to 12 different sections or 12 parts, 12 licks, whatever you want to call it. And so um, let's dig right in because it really doesn't need much of an introduction. It's, it's, a, it's a very famous solo. It's a great solo to learn, a great solo to play. Lots of, of, of really good techniques Jimmy Page um, uses in this solo, and uh, which will obviously help your own guitar playing. So let's dig in. Oh, and uh, be sure to... Uh, um, um, like subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up, comment, and, and um, let me know if there's any other solos you'd like me to cover um, at some point too. So thanks again, and um, I hope you get some value out of this. Um, okay, so we're going to start on the seventh fret of the G string and bend up to the nine. <laughs> I, I like to use all three fingers when I'm doing whole step bends like that. Uh, it just gives a little more strength to your bending finger, and I think it saves your finger a little bit too. So, uh, seven to nine bend. And then we're going to go fifth fret on the high E, eighth and five on the B, seven and five on the G string. Then seventh fret on the D string. Then we're gonna go just drop our finger down and do the seventh fret and fight and fifth fret again on the G string. Then seven five on the D and then eight on the A string. So slow. Up to speed. And that's lick number one. And uh, just just give it a few practices. It might take you 100 times. It might take you 20 times to get it. So everyone, uh, you know, is different. And um, just take it nice and slow. And and and. Uh, you'll be on your way to learning the solo to Stairway to Heaven. So that's lick number one. Okay, so lick number two, we're going to start off on the 8th fret of the B string and, and we're going to bend it to the 10th fret. And then we're going to hit the 8th fret below on the high E string. Now I would start this bend with your uh, middle finger because... And then I would hit the 8th fret below on the high E string with your ring finger. And um, that's for a reason, because you're going to want to bend that high E note um, soon, too, so that way you're already set up for it. So, so we're going to bend, bend up to the 10th, hit the 8th fret below it twice, and then we're going to bend that same 8th fret up to the 10th of the high E. Okay, so after that high, that high E bend to the tenth, then we're going to hit the eight again. Just bring it back down and hit the eight. So it's like this. Okay, and then we're going to go to the fifth fret of the high E string. We're going to hit that that fifth fret of the high E string twice, and then we're going to slide on the B string from the eight to the ten. So from eight to ten, hit that ten again on the B string, and then the eighth fret on the high E. Okay, so so <laughs> I know this this lick actually took me the longest of all of them. So don't get frustrated with this one. It's a little, it's a little odd, and uh, you know, it's once you have it though, it's really cool. So, okay, 
And then to finish the lick, we're just going to do uh, the second position pentatonic run. So, um, all together here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do that a little slower too. Okay, so and, and, and then up to speed, of course. And that's lick number two. Take your time on this one. It's a little tricky at first, but once you get it, you'll get it. Uh, no problem. Just, just uh, you know, do it 50, 100 times, you'll get it. Um, and that's lick number two. Okay, so <clears throat> lick number three. We're going to start with the seventh fret on the G string and bend up to nine. <laughs> And then we're going to do a basic pentatonic run, pretty much 5 on the high E, 8-5 on the B, 7-5 on the G, 7 on the D, then back down to 7-5 on the G, 7-5 on the D, 7 on the A, 5-7 on the D, 5 on the G, 7 on the D, 2 fives. An open G. Okay, so like this. And let me try that again. slower okay so that's lick number three just don't forget that bend bend with all three fingers and up to speed And that's lick number three. Just uh, again, you know, the key here is is uh, repetition. Of course, first memorize the notes, and then uh, lots of repetition, and you'll have it in no time. Lick number three. We're going to start on the high E with the five. Go to the B, eight five on the B, seven five on the G, seven on the. D, then back down to 7-5 on the G, and then we're going to go to the D and do 7-5 twice, and then end on the 8 on the A, okay? Try to slow it way down. And in context here. Was licks three and four combined so you can hear it in context so uh, that's lick number four just uh, you know repetition is key again so okay lick number five we're going to start on the seventh fret of the D string five on the G six on the B seven and five on the G Seven on the D and then five on the G. Okay, so okay. 
That's the first half of the lick. Now we're going to just slide to the 14th on the D string. Okay. Now I typically start around the seventh fret, but where you slide from, that note you start start your slide from, that's not the important note. I mean, you could start anywhere. You could start on the 9th to the 14th, 10th to the 14th. I typically start around the 7th. I'm not really hitting that note, though. The important part is the slide, not the note that you start from. And getting to that 14th fret on the D. Okay? So. So we've got the 14th on the D. And then we're going to hit 212 or a 12 on the G. And then 12 14. And then end on the 13th on the B. So in context here. Can you slow it down? And that's lick number five. Okay, lick number six. And um, on this lick, I I actually really like this lick. It's just so classy and, and, and perfect note selection. Uh, but anyway, so here we go. We're going to start on the 15th fret of the B string. We're going to bend up to the 17. So... And then down to the 15 again. 15, 13. That's the first part. Then after you hit that 14th on the G string, you want to go up to the 15th fret on the high E, bend up to the 17th fret. And then we're going to hit 15, 12. And then we're going to get a bend on that 15th of the B string again to the 17th. So, uh, lick as a whole here. I'll try to slow that down a little bit. Okay, so in one more time. And that is lick number six. So um, well, maybe I should play it in context for you here. That make more sense when I do it when I put it in context anyway, so. Click number six. Give it a, a bunch of repetitions, and uh, you know, some licks you might get them in t ten or twenty tries, and sometimes it takes three days. <laughs> you know, I've never, I've never figured it out. So, um, uh, you know, practice it as long as it takes is really the key. So, anyway, so that's lick number six. Lick number seven, start on the 15th fret of the B and bend to the 17. Then we're going to bend down back to the 15. Then we're going to pull off to the 13 on the B. And then 14th fret on the G string we're going to pick. You're going to play that lick ten times in a row, and that is lick number seven, so nice and slow. Whoops. Okay, 
Okay, that's click number seven. Okay, lip number eight. We're going to start on the 15th fret of the high E string and bend up to the 17th fret. And then we're going to do um, 12 to, to 15, back to 12. Then to 15, 13 on the B string. And 14 on that G. So. Then we're going to go back to the 13 and the 15, and then back to 13, and then 14 again on the G. So, so far. Okay, then after that, we're going to go to the 13th, and then 15, we're going to bend up to the 17. We're going to hit the 15 on the high E after we bend that 15 up to the 17. And then we're going to bend the 17 back down to the 15. And then 13, 14 to end the lick. So all together. So it's important. To, so when you hit that. You want to make sure you get all those notes in there, okay? So they bend up to the 17, and then the 15 below on the high E. Then you're going to re-strike that bent 17th note, okay? And bend it down. So all together. Let me see if I can slow that down a little bit. Okay, so that is lick number eight. And so we're at lick number nine, and at, uh, we're going to start on the 15th fret of the B. I'm going to slide to 17. And then we're going to go 15, 17, 15 on the high E string. So uh, we like this so far. Okay, then we're going to go 17, 15 on the B and slide to 13. And then 14 on the G string. Then 15 on the B, 14 on the G, then 13, 15 on the B, and then 15 again, and bend up to 17. So, all together here. And again. I'll try to slow it down once. And again. Okay, that's lip number nine. And again, um, memorize the notes first. Lots of repetition, and you'll get it eventually. So uh, don't get frustrated with these licks. They're they're uh, very cool licks, and. Uh, and they were written by a great guitar player, so you know it's uh, sometimes it's going to take a little bit to um, get them learnt, if that's a word. <laughs> Anyways, that's look number nine. So lick number ten is we're going to start on the twelfth fret of the B string and bend up to the thirteen. And then 12-10, and then 12-14 on the G string, and then 
on the G and bend up to 14. So uh, the whole lick in, in context here. One more time. Okay, and that's lick number 10. Okay, lick number 11. We're going to start on the 10th fret of the G string and bend it, bend it two whole steps, clear up to 14. Nice and slow, too. And then 10 9, 7 5, 7 5 again, and then 7 slide to 9, and then 7 slide to 5 and then end on the seventh fret of the D string. So in context here. Let me see if I can slow it down a little bit. And that's lick 11. Okay, and so we are at the last lick of the Stairway to Heaven solo. So, um, and this one's going to start on the 20th fret of the high E. Then we're going to pull off to the 17th fret of the high E. And then we're going to pluck the 17th fret on the B string. And you're going to do that pattern six times in a row. So it's all, so you're going to pick the 20th fret, pull off, and then pick the 17th fret on the B string. So So um so that's the that's the shape, that's the pattern and you can just bar your index finger right over both of those 17th frets on the high E and the B. That way, make it a little easier for you. So again, so 20, pull off, and then pluck the 17 on the B. And just slowly build up speed. Okay, so then after you do that six times, then to end the lick, you want to, on the 20th fret, on the high E, bend, pluck it, and then bend up to the 22nd fret. So, lick all together. And that's it. That's lick number 12. And actually, that's all the licks for the entire solo now. So, um, the way I would practice this is I would just take a lick at a time. And, you know, just take, take one of these licks per day or every um, couple days if you're a newer guitar player. So um, the main thing um, with this is um, repetition. So, you know, the more you play these licks, the better you're going to get at them. And um, it's really that simple. And then once you start getting comfortable with the licks, go ahead and, and play along with the original um, uh, tune, you know. You can find it on YouTube and just play right along with it. And um, and then you'll uh, kind of figure out once you start doing that uh, the areas and the licks that you need to work on too. So um, I hope you got some value from this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Contact me. And um, if if uh, there's any other guitar solos that you'd like me to um, cover and uh, do lessons on, be sure to let me know in the comments. And hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel too. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you learned this solo. It's a great solo. It's a fun solo to play. And um, wish you all the best. Take care.